The three-phase motor is widely used in the industrial environment. It is an efficient motor with a very good weight-size-power ratio. To get an idea of how it works, we should take a look at the way in which alternating current is generated. Power companies have several phase alternators powered by internal combustion engines, water stored in large dams, or even by wind-driven turbines. We can come to understand the operation of an alternator through a series of drawings. In 1820, it was discovered that by circulating an electric current, a magnetic field was produced around a wire through which the current passed. If the center point of the drawing represents a copper wire through which an electric current flows towards the observer, the lines of force of the magnetic field appear in the direction indicated by the arrow. Later, it was found that when the wire was wound in a coil around an iron core, the generator field was reinforced and an electromagnet could be created, that is, a magnet that can be activated at will when connected to an electric battery. Then it was found that if a permanent magnet was moved next to a coil of wire, an electric current was produced in the wire without using any battery. In other words, the moving electric current produces magnetism, and the moving magnetism produces an electric current. This principle developed the most basic alternator, demonstrated in this illustration. A permanent magnet can be mounted on a shaft to rotate and then make it pass in front of a pair of coils, which will produce an electric current in the wire that makes up the coils, and thus generating an electric current, without having to depend on any electric battery. By rotating the permanent magnet, the two poles of the magnet, north and south, alternately move in front of the coils. So you will have a sequence of passes from a north pole to a south pole that will produce a current, first in one direction and then in the other, in the wires of the coils. This type of current is called alternating current. The graphic representation of this current is a sine wave, as illustrated here. With each turn of the permanent magnet, a complete cycle of alternating current occurs. This is the simplest alternator. It creates a type of current called single phase. We can add three times more identical coils to the first two, and we will have an alternator which produces three waveforms identical to each other, but offset in time due to the sequence of passes of each permanent magnet pole in front of the corresponding coil. For simplicity in the drawings, we have shown each of the coils as a simple rectangle marked with its own color, in order to relate each sine wave with its corresponding coil. The difference between the start of the waveform in one coil and the next is measured in degrees, which correspond to the permanent magnet rotation. In a three-phase alternator, this difference is 120 degrees between phases, and this three-phase energy is distributed by the power company and reaches the industry to power their electric motors. Normally, a three-phase industrial electric motor uses a squirrel cage type rotor. The motor has one or more groups of coils distributed 120 degrees apart in its round stator. The three phases arrive from the power company to the motor coils and produce a sequential magnetic field according to the order in which the different phases arrive. This sequential field results in a rotating magnetic field which induces current in the rotor bar just as it happens in a single phase motor. But since the field is rotating, the rotor is dragged by the rotation. The fact is that the rotating field sets the direction of rotation to the rotor without the need for auxiliary devices. This makes a more compact and lightweight motor. It is a very efficient motor, although like any other induction motor, it suffers from a certain amount of slipping, since the rotor does not exactly follow the sequence of the faces, but it kind of slips slightly as the load becomes heavier. I hope this very basic description of a three-phase motor has been useful for you to get an idea of its operation. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.